Right, ladies and gents, the last thing I've got now is uh, these two boxes. Nice little box. These are old-fashioned jewellery boxes. Uh, like a chest, so that can actually be decorated up as a chest. Um, and inside, what it was with the guy we went to last week, and we bought all that big jewellery off, you know, them big boxes. Um, he had all this on, and um, he just saves me stuff. He's going to get some more for me. So I'm just trying to wandle out the bits. Let's have a look. Now that might have a piece in here somewhere, but... Let's have a look. There we go, I got off that. Oh, God. <laughs> so we've got that, which is a nice flower. You can always put a pearl or something in that. Take the, uh, oh, two, four, five, yeah. So with three of them, we can have pearled in or something. So we've got that. Some nice little round spaces there. Um, that can be painted up and used and put on a project. Oh, nice big one of those. That's nice, flower centre. There's a watch. Pearl front and back. That's old. You don't get them like that now. Ring. Oh. Woo! Flashy, flashy. I like that actually. <laughs> Quite nice. Um, pearls. Pearl bracelet. Nice little uh, thing can go for a centre, flower centre. I know I'm lucky. I know a lot of people are going, oh, you lucky sod, you lucky sod. I am lucky to have such, uh, well, friends, basically, because I get a lot of friends saving me stuff. Um, but we do buy and, and, you know, we do haggle the price with them. We don't just get it cheap, cheap. It costs us, but I, can cut, I knock them down as far as possible. Even though they're friends, and I'll just knock them down and knock them down and knock them down. Diamante one. Um, as far as possible to get a good deal. Oh, that was a pair. So we've got that one as well. It's a nice one. Cameo. Pair of earrings. Flower centres. Let's have a look. Another one. Nice little brooch will go on somewhere. Um, so, like I say, it, you know, it does. It takes. It, to be honest, it's draining to do all this sort of nice flower centre. We've got two of those to do this sort of uh, work. Oh, screw thing that I don't really want. Earrings, got a nice diamante ball on it. Oh, that's one of those clips. Oh, what I do with these, I just chop this off. Take the spring out, and you've got that to go... Once you've taken the spring out and cut the back off, and they will cut because it's, it's very soft metal, this. So this is a tip for you. Anne, can I count this as one of my tips? <laughs> right, what you do is you take the spring out. Okay, you just cut it out. Just cut down here and it'll come apart. Be careful, nothing springs back at you. This can all be chopped off and then it leaves you with this section. But that can do above a picture. A nice oval picture or a round picture. And that can do like an ornate top. Don't waste them. I use them all the time in mine. My work. Nice diamond. Lots of bling in this. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Wow, that's nice, isn't that? Isn't that gorgeous? And it's already got the hook on. Wow. Just making sure that... Yeah, it's on a chain, I think. I'll make sure it doesn't come off. Ooh, pretty. like that. 
lots of blingy bits in this one. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, I mean, it's broken, but you can take it off in sections. Look at that. I mean, you could hang that as is on a book. Yeah, look at that. Some nice things. Some unusual jewellery. Look at that one. That one. Oh, lots of bling in this one. Another one of them. Nice bracelet. Beads. More bling. Look at this. No, it's one of those that's come apart. It was a pair. Unfortunately, it's come apart. More bling. More bling. Bling ring. Oh, a shoe. That'll do. Keep the shoe. <laughs> I got a shoe. See what I mean? You never ever know what you're going to get in these. Earrings. And then in this one, I think uh, that is. that is Nice box though, I like that. Just some bits and pieces in this one. Nice cross. Nice droplet. Nice bling. What's this? Need to know what that is. To know. Or oh, earring. But yeah, so there you go. Lots of nice, lovely goodliness. And I will dismantle it all. I will prep it all. And it, you see, that'll get done for you. So if you want a grab bag, they're going to be £8 a grab bag. Let me know if you want them. I will have to wear them, depending on where you come from. The generally, last week's grab bags. The, for the £8 bags, last week's grab bags were, if you lived in the UK, it was £2.60. But I think when we actually took them to the post office, if you check your, your parcel, they were about £3.40. So I'm going to say £3.40 for the UK. If it's over, we will uh, refund you. For anybody, if you pay over the odds on the shipping, we will refund you. But last week, I know some of it was up and some of it was down. Uh, for Europe, it's £6.40. For a grab bag, for the USA, it's £9.90. It totals £15.90 for a grab bag. But uh, the grab bags for Europe totaled uh, 9 sorry, it's $9.82, which was £6.40. The USA was $15.90, which was £9.90. Australia was £10.40, which was $15.95. And Canada was um, £9.90 which total $15.90. So if you want a grab bag, let me know. That's your prices for roughly for your shipping. Okay, and you know, they're well worth it because even if you pay double, you know, £8 shipping and £8 postage, you're getting a good deal. Regardless, you're still getting a, a, a bloody good deal. So that's it. Oh, I'm tired now. <sighs> I need to go back to bed because we were up rather early. Do you know I was on the field with the dogs this morning at um, 6 o'clock? They dragged me out of bed and wanted to go out at 6 o'clock. I had to take them out. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Email, you, email me if you're interested in any of this. Bye-bye for now.